What's good YouTube? It's your boy Molly from Molly Red, and today we are here to talk about my hero, movie number three, World Heroes Mission. And you guys know how I already feel about my hero. You guys know that I feel it is already the best new gen shonen manga and anime of all time already. That's just my opinion. And they're dropping another movie, movie number three. See, this is why I always say strike when the iron is hot. And again, you know, with season five out right now, I've noticed again that so many people, I noticed that a lot of people hasn't really been talking about season five, but it has been hitting on every single cylinder. It's been taking the storyline slow. It's been giving you great development for the characters, showing the contest between class A, class B, and it's been giving you the development that you need for these young heroes coming into the future of being heroes. So I really enjoy, I'm enjoying the mess out of season five because the manga was amazing in this arc and it's gonna get better because what's coming next, ooh, it's gonna be great. But here today, we're here to talk about movie number three. And movie one was really, really good. But at the same time, I really, Honestly, didn't really enjoy movie one a lot, but movie two came out with Bakugo and Deku when they shared the one for all. That that whole that whole movie from start to end was really freaking good. You know how they tied in Shigaraki, how they tied in All for One, and how they tied in him having the quirks and it was wasn't stable for his body, and then even Todoroki, which was was an underrated character in that movie, he had a great fight against um Chimera, the Chimera guy, and. Movie 2 was amazing. It was really, really amazing. The art and animation, I can just imagine the budget they put on Movie 2 was just insane. It was like Demon Slayer movie. It was the budget was just insane, especially for that, that fight scene was insane. And I'm hoping for Movie 3 is going to be the same way. I'm expecting some big, big stuff, especially after what Movie 2 gave us. And uh, with all that being said, guys, I'm looking forward to it. Let's get straight into this trailer for we can enjoy it together. So let's get straight into this video, guys. Mass murderer. My boy, my, my boy, Deku ain't killing nobody. Humanity salvation. Okay. <laughs> You're like a Pokemon. Yo, again, graphics. Oh, look at those new outfits. Endeavor Hawks. Oh, that boy design a dope. Whoa, pause, 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 guys. Sorry to pause. This scene right here with Todoroki, what is he doing? Like, bro, oh, they're going all out again. Sorry, guys, let's get back into it. They're going all out again. Yo, what animation. Yo. That animation right there on the Todoroki scene, I'm sorry guys that I paused it, but that animation on that Todoroki scene is looking in freaking insane. Do you see that right there, bro? Look at that, dog. Could he be doing prominence burn? Dude, that animation right there looks freaking amazing. And even let's go back a little bit and look at the look at the villain. I didn't really get a good clip of him, but I don't know. It's like it's like he got satellite mirrors connected to his body, and obviously he's the leader of this like this revolution or this cult. And obviously he's not the one from the manga, obviously. But this guy, he seems like he wants to change in his eyes and how he seems. Obviously, um, that's what everybody, that's what almost every villain wants to do. But I'm also digging the vibes between Todoroki, Deku, and uh, Bakugo. The new outfits. I love these new outfits. They're like 
freaking secret agents. They're all wearing black. The, I'm, I'm messing with these dope outfits. And we also get to see a lot of the characters that we really didn't get to see, obviously, in the show step up now. It looks like they have like a hero... I want to say a convention, but it seems like they called all the heroes together to come up or find a strategy, I'm guessing, to take down this guy and his cult following and how they're going to stop him. And even even Endeavor, in it, obviously, you know, he's saying it, leave it to me. So when you got Endeavor and you got Hawks in it, it's definitely going to be some, some big, big, big problems if you got the two top heroes in it. But what I want to talk about the most is the two things. One with Deku being a mass murderer. What did he do to be considered a mass murderer? I mean, like, really? Deku? Izuku? Midoriya? Nah, 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 nah. There's no way. So, whatever happened had to really make it seem like he did it because that just don't make any sense, bro. Like, if anybody watched him, obviously the whole world watches the, the tournament, you know, of the kids, and they know who Deku is. There's just no way that that's possible and even this you know the, the basic i guess you can call him the main character and uh and this movie or the focal point is this kid i think his name is roddy soul or that's just the voice actor okay roddy soul this kid or whoever this person's supposed to be i'm wondering what his role would be obviously we seen him in the trailer he was fighting with deku and he had a little pokemon bird thing with him guys Tell me your film. Tell me your thoughts on movie number three. I can tell right now, again, the art and animation is going to be out of this world. Truly looking forward to it. I want to see some really, really big scene fights. I want them to top what they did in part two because that was a great fight scene. I want to see a lot more character development for the characters in this movie. I want to see a lot more heroes. I want to see a lot more villains. I want to see a lot more teamwork fighting. I want to see like just like a big massive war where all the heroes get to show their skills obviously we know it's going to focus more around Deku, Todoroki and Bakugo which I don't care but seeing that Hawks is going to be in it seeing that Endeavor they're going to do something important because Hawks is like he was really messed up and seeing all the heroes together I even seen a Kaijun um, a Godzilla hero guy which is super dope because I'm a huge Godzilla fan and if you guys watch the channel you guys know that and I'm truly looking forward to it and number one obviously is because I'm my hero guy I believe my hero again is the next great anime next to the Naruto's and the Bleach and, and all the other greats movie number three World Hero Mission tell me what you guys think about it tell me if you liked it tell me if you're looking forward to it tell me if you're going to check it out Guys, with all that being said, don't forget to like the video, drop some comments, subscribe to the channel every single time. Never forget to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, guys, I bet you a goodbye.